Jim Miller here with you this evening at Pioneer Park after a historic record-breaking performance from Tuscaloosa senior right-hander Charles Hall, joined by him and his catcher Nate Montgomery after the Pioneers win 10 to 1. Charles, Division II record tonight, 22 strikeouts. Um, you've been racking up the strikeouts all season long. Uh, it seemed like your breaking ball was working as, as good as it ever has. Yeah, I started off the my curveball. It actually wasn't working in the first couple innings, so we were pounding that slider and. Um, the shade helped me out for the first couple innings, you know, they, they couldn't see spin, so, you know, just t attack the zone, you know, just, you know, just let them swing at it. Got a lot of misses, and then finally started getting that breaking ball, so the duo of the curveball slider really is effective for me. And I actually had a fastball that I could spot up tonight. Um, just with the sequence, I was just one of the best games of my life, I guess. Nate, you've caught, it, caught him last season as well. What's been the difference this year that's been able to get Charles to take his game up a notch um, in your eyes? I think the big thing is that he's become a pitcher, uh, and he's not just going out there throwing. He's shaking off. He's thinking the game. He's reading swings. Uh, and when he shakes off and he wants a certain pitch, he's executing that pitch, and he's not afraid to go back to it. And I think the big thing is we didn't util utilize his changeup at all today, and that's that's still a plus pitch for him. And you know the fact that he was able to pitch off his fastball today, I think was key. But I'd say how he's matured on the mound and how he's started to execute his pitches and. Not just going out there throwing, going out there pitching, and it's working pretty well for him. Was it something that you were keeping? Did, were you aware of what was going on? I guess is a big question. Well, I mean, I didn't know about the D2 record, but I knew about the Tuscan record of 17. And once I hit that, I kind of just let it go and just, just got there pitching, you know, having fun, doing what I love. Nate, at the plate, the team, uh, 10 runs tonight, you, know, you had a couple hits. Uh, it just seemed like that you, know, you got some got some hits, got some big hits for some guys. You know, Bradley Evans is back in the lineup now. Kind of feels like the team is almost complete now, and, and you've got, we've gotten some good production from all up and down the lineup. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think um, we executed pretty well today at the plate. I do think that we can do better uh, putting balls in play with a better two-strike approach. Um, but I'm excited to get this Friday night win to sets, sets us up good for the doubleheader tomorrow. Last question, Charles. Did you have to vote uh, Coach Steele to get out there for the ninth inning, or was it your ball all the way? I saw you on the top step of the dugout. Were you trying to send a message, or was it your ball all the way? Um, I mean, they kept coming up to me asking how I felt, asking, you know, like they're they're trying to get me not to go back out there for the bottom of the ninth. But I told them it was my game. I wanted to finish it. I had to get my first complete game. Felt good. You know, I was just ready for it. Just wanted to do what I had to do. 22 strikeouts tonight, a new Division II record, and Tusculum gets a win in the opener of the three-game series over Queens by a score of 10-1. to 1. For more on tonight's games, visit our webpage at TusculumPioneers.com.